there's a member of Congress you have probably been hearing about lately. His name is Barry Loudermilk. Barry Loudermilk is a Republican congressman from Georgia. I know him. CBS News's uh, news correspondent who is fixated on January 6th has for the past year been following the story of Barry Loudermilk giving a tour of the Capitol on January 5th, 2021, so that the Proud Boys and other insurgents who wanted to storm the Capitol and overthrow the government would find their way into the building. This has been a story advanced by Democrats on the January 6th committee. The story goes, as covered by members of the media and as put forward by the January 6th committee, that Congressman Barry Loudermilk of Georgia gave a tour the day before January 6th so that the would-be rioters and insurgents could see where all of the doors and entryway points are, exit points were, paths were, and could learn the route to get into the Senate and the House. And Barry Loudermilk gave them that tour. It's been all over the national press. It has, to some degree, also been in the Georgia press that uh, Barry Loudermilk, they've also made this allegation against Lauren Boebert, but uh, they actually had credible evidence that Barry Loudermilk helped plan this. Scott McFarland is the CBS News reporter. On May 19th, he tweeted, In a letter to Representative Barry Loudermilk of Georgia, House January 6th Committee writes, Based on our review of evidence in the select committee's possession, we believe that you have information regarding a tour you led through parts of the Capitol complex on January 5th, 2021. He has, Scott McFarland of CBS News, has repeated the story and covered the story pretty thoroughly over the past month. It has gotten national attention from CBS, ABC, CNN, MSNBC. No one, very few people, I should say, have wanted to defend Barry Loudermilk, the congressman from Georgia. This has been a smear job against a good man. This has been a character assassination by the Democrats of the January 6th Committee and members of the national press. Do you know who's speaking up to defend Barry Loudermilk? the Republican congressman from Georgia, the Capitol Police. That's right. The Capitol Police themselves have responded to the January 6th committee. The Capitol Police have said they reviewed the surveillance. They reviewed the tapes. They followed Barry Loudermilk around. Turns out he was just giving a tour to constituents. If you look at the bags that were supposedly sinister bags, the bags that contained materials and information that would help with the plot to overthrow the government, it turns out it was souvenir bags from the Capitol Visitor Center gift shop. There's no there there. There is no there there. Congressman Barry Loudermilk, if anyone knows him, knows he's a patriot. His children are patriots. I've met his kids. They're a really good family. They are a very good family, good Christian family, a very nice people who are patriots, who love their country. And Barry Loudermilk has been, over the last month, dragged through the national press as some sort of uh, traitor to the country, would-be rioter and the like. That's simply not true. And I would like to commend the U.S. Capitol Police for defending Barry Loudermilk and for revealing that, in fact, all of the accusations against him by the January 6th committee are not true. And I would note that Scott McFarland of CBS News, now that this is all public, has not tweeted a single thing about it. I would note that Scott McFarland of CBS News, who over the last month has over multiple times, multiple periods, and multiple occasions highlighted the story and cast dispersions on Barry Loudermilk, has not mentioned it once. Barry Loudermilk did nothing wrong. 
I should also note that this calls into question further the credibility and competency of the January 6th committee. They could have reviewed the tapes. They could have reviewed the surveillance. They could have worked with Capitol Police, and they could have asked the Capitol Police in private for their assessment. Instead, they decided to make it a public spectacle. They decided to shame Barry Loudermilk. They decided to send the mob after Barry Loudermilk. They decided to send the media after Barry Loudermilk. They didn't wait for the Capitol Police to review the assessment and complete a report. And now that the report is done, it's a nothing burger. There is nothing there. There's no there there at all. He did nothing wrong. He was given a tour with constituents. We've seen this pattern repeated with Democrats, with members of Congress who gave tours to constituents who were in Washington at that protest, and they wanted to come by and just check out the Capitol and meet their member of Congress, and their members of Congress and staff obliged, and they've all been smeared by the media. They've all been defamed. They've all been slandered. They've all been attacked, and none of them did anything wrong. The idea from the Democrats that Republican members of Congress helped foment, inspire, and guide the insurrection of the Capitol Hill when there was no insurrection to begin with is all a bunch of BS. Absolutely, some bad people stormed the Capitol, and absolutely, they had ill intent, and absolutely, they need to go to jail, and absolutely, no Republican member of Congress, including Barry Loudermilk, helped them, and to say otherwise is a scurrilous lie, and the January 6th committee and the reporters who have attacked Barry Loudermilk should apologize to him. And now you know the rest of the story.